Ellen White started a false religion that's today known as the Seventh-day Adventist. This is one of her books called The Great Controversy. And I want to show you from their own writings that this is a satanic religion and they are trusting in their own works to go to heaven. If you've ever spoken to a Seventh-day Adventist, you've probably discovered they are trusting in their own works to get to heaven. They'll say things like, Jesus opened the door, now we have to keep the commandments. Here in Ellen White's book, it teaches repentance of sin and faith in Christ. Repenting of sin is a work and it is not necessary for salvation. We have to repent and believe the gospel, the Bible says. We have to change our mind about trusting Christ. Works should follow, but if you're trusting in your works, then you're not saved. It says in Jonah chapter 3, verse number 10, and God saw their works that they turned from their evil way. So God defines repenting of sin as works. You cannot be saved by works and Jesus. Either works is no more works and faith is no more faith. Ellen White also teaches that the scapegoat that paid for our sin is Satan. Look, the scapegoat typified Satan, the author of sin, upon whom the sins of the truly penitent will finally be placed. This is heresy. They're literally teaching that Satan is the Redeemer. On page 485, she says something similar. As the priest in removing the sins from the sanctuary confess them upon the head of the scapegoat, so Christ will place all these sins upon Satan, the originator and instigator of sin. The Seventh-day Adventists are trusting in Satan to redeem them, and they're trusting in their own works by ceasing from their own sin. Sins that have not been repented of and forsaken will not be pardoned and blotted out of the book of record. I got to tell you guys, this is total heresy. This is bad doctrine. The great controversy is part of the satanic cult of the Seventh-day Adventists. In 1 Peter chapter 2, it says, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed. This verse destroys both of these doctrines. Notice it says, Jesus Christ is the one that paid for our sins. It was not the devil. And now that we are saved, the Holy Spirit will move in. We can begin to become that new man as we begin to walk in newness of life. And notice it says, being dead to sins, we should live unto righteousness. Here's the goal for every Christian is that we should live unto righteousness. This is not automatic. Repenting of sins is a choice. Those that are trusting in their repenting of sins for salvation are trusting in their own works and they're not saved. They are still in their sins. Galatians 5 says, Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. The great controversy is heresy. Ellen White was possessed with a devil and most of the people in the Seventh-day Adventist religion are on their way to hell because they're trusting in their own works, and they actually believe that Satan will pay for their sins.